My name is Monica Lamb. I'm a project finance attorney, and I represent investors and sponsors in uh, developing and financing renewable power plants. So some of the obstacles that these projects face are high upfront costs in, in relation to long payback periods, and unknown and unpredictable risks associated with these types of projects. So some of the ways that we can address high upfront costs are reducing or eliminating tariffs on the necessary equipment like solar panels, extending tax incentives uh, for renewable energy generating equipment and introducing new tax incentives for equipment for energy storage, which is necessary to help integrate renewable energy resources into the grid. We can also support mandates, both at the federal level and the state level, for these types of projects. And we can focus on reducing the cost of integrating variable resources into the grid by, for example, supporting transmission projects and energy storage projects. The types of projects we're talking about are uh, basically large-scale, zero-carbon energy generating projects, so solar and wind projects, as well as the types of projects that are necessary to integrate those into the grid. So transmission projects to move energy from renewable resources from region to region, and also energy storage to help integrate variable resources into the grid.